it's Sarah Dean with Sync Fitness and Fit Healthy Moms. I'm here with my friend Rick Castles. We're here in California. It's not very sunny today, unfortunately. <laughs> but I wanted to get this quick video with Rick. Um, we want to talk a little bit about knee pain because so many of my clients have knee pain, especially with lunges or during different activities in boot camp. So Rick is a knee pain expert. And Rick, can you go ahead and say the name of your knee pain product? Uh, um, I have a product called kneeinjurysolution.com uh, that ends up talking about, you know, workouts and exercise that you can do to address your knee pain. So for anyone who has knee pain or chronic knee problems um, that you've asked me about over and over, <laughs> looking at Brick Step would be really beneficial and really helpful to you so that you can maybe um, solve some of that on your own outside of the gym and then boot camp workouts would be a little more effective for you. So Rick, one of the biggest problems and questions I have with people um, is that they find lunges to be really uncomfortable when they do um, when we're doing lunging exercises. Any recommendations on that? Yeah, I mean there's a couple things. When it comes to the lunge, what they can end up doing is instead of doing like a forward lunge, they can end up doing a back lunge. That okay. ends up decreasing the stress on the knee. It can, what, another thing that it can end up doing is like focusing in on technique because a lot of times when the knee ends up passing the toes, that increases the stress okay. on the knee. And when you're doing like a forward lunge or duck, like a walking forward lunge, a lot of times the knee ends up passing uh, So making the toes. sure that the knee is never coming forward this yes. way then? That yes. It's Taking a bigger step, yes. maybe? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times they'll take a short step and the and knee then will end up coming across, and that puts a lot of strain. If they take a bigger step and don't let that knee cross, most of the weight is on the midfoot or heel, so they end up working their hamstrings and glutes and more butt. and less their less more than for their the butt. Quads. Which is good. Yes. Okay. And the other thing is like spending a little bit of time addressing the flexibility when it comes to your quads and hip flexors. Because a lot of times they're tight and they end up putting, pulling on uh, your kneecap and that pulling on the kneecap pushes the bone up against your knee joint and leads to pain. So a lot of times if they do a little bit of flex, you know a little quad stretch, hip flexor stretching in order to address that flexibility issue, that'll decrease the stress on the, on the knee. So those three things, the back lunge, they can increase the stride so that the knee doesn't pass the toes, and then really spending a little bit of time doing some flexibility work. And does your knee, um, your knee product, does that have stretches uh, recommended within it? Yeah. They can get, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys should go, if you're having knee issues, go check out Rick's stuff and get some more information, and then certainly continue to ask me questions about it. Maybe you can teach me something once you get Rick's stuff. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Rick, for no taking problem. the time. I appreciate it. <laughs> you and bet. I'll see you soon on fit, fithealthymoms.com or seekfitness.com.